people and he was anxiously waiting to hear from me. And he said, you know, is everything okay? What's happened? And I took a deep, big deep breath and I said, yeah, everything's fine. I'm okay. They're waving. And he said, oh, thank God. What? They? And that little surprise there was the start of a life I could have never, ever imagined. So it, it, was, it was challenging, but I got my game face on and you know, we've all got it. We've all had a bad day and we all go into work with this smile on our face and we just say, everything's okay, you know, and people are nodding. So I know you've all got a game face as well. <laughs> um, you know, we've all got that. And I didn't want to let people down. We've heard about that, that pressure um, earlier on. I didn't want people to sort of carry my burden of not being in, even though I knew they would understand. And I didn't want to admit the extent of how I was struggling. So I just carried on game face and all. But actually on hindsight, and isn't hindsight a wonderful thing? Love is blind, but hindsight's 2020. You know, you look back. Uh, on hindsight, what I did was I created an escapism for myself. Just a way of escaping from a life I'd never expected and still felt really lost in. And I threw myself into work as a way to distract myself from the struggles and challenges I'd got at home and from some really important conversations that I needed to have with my husband, which never actually occurred. I believe that there are huge rewards in the bravery to have those critical, crucial, vulnerable conversations. And I don't mean vulnerable in the sense of putting yourself at risk, but vulnerable in the sense of honesty and exposing yourself and just saying, this is what is happening to me.